In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool solution for how to upgrade your tripod and even your Gorillapod to help you save time and maximize your efficiency. Because let's face it, as a content creator, you'd rather be focused on making content than actually mess around with some of the finer details. It's going to help you save so much time. Today, I'm upgrading my studio to Arca Swiss, which covers like two items in my studio, but it's a start. I'm going to explain not only what Arca Swiss is, but we're going to go through the process together of upgrading my studio so that way you can see what the process is. So make sure that you stick around until the end so that way you can see the final build because it's really not that difficult. My name's Ray. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Now we're going to get into this. As far as the equipment mentioned in this video, I am going to leave links down in the description below. That way, if you're curious, you can check it out. What I want to start out by saying is that I did not spend a lot on it, and you don't always have to spend a lot of money to upgrade your studio equipment. So what is Arca Swiss? Well, generally, it's a two-piece system. You have a clamp and you have a plate. The plate screws directly into your camera on the bottom using this quarter-inch screw, and then you have a dovetail right here, which is held in place by the clamp. So once you tighten it down, it's not going anywhere. There isn't really a standard among tripods. I mean, every tripod is going to be different, which is the most frustrating thing, really. On the Joby Gorillapod, you have this plate up here, which is not universal at all. Like, it seriously just connects to the Joby Gorillapod, and that's it. The issue then comes when you have to unscrew it from a particular item. So the Manfrotto plates, for example, they'll look like this. They're very long and they're awkwardly shaped, they're not going to fit with this and vice versa. I wanted to make everything as smooth as possible. For over the last year, I've used a light stand and I've had to unscrew the camera from that light stand, attach it to the Gorillapod, unscrew it from the Gorillapod and then put it back on the light stand. And the light stand hasn't been very dynamic. Now, if you're one of the two people who checked out my last video, one of the two people. Now, if you're one of the few people who checked out my last video, you may have remembered me saying, I'm mostly excited about this because in the very near future, I am going to be getting a tripod, an actual tripod, and it's going to make my life so much easier. Well, here's the thing. I actually, oh. <laughs> uh, I ended up thinking about it and thinking about it, and I impulsed myself into buying an actual tripod before the video was even finished editing. So this is the Manfrotto 500AH head on a Manfrotto 190X tripod. Super excited about it. I am going to be upgrading this today to Arca Swiss. However, I do want to review this in a future video. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do so that way you can check it out in the future. Also, if you did watch my last video, then chances are that you remember I ended up replacing the head to this. Well, fun fact, that head just didn't end up working out, unfortunately. And it was fine, but did not fit with my new tripod. Of course, neither did this until I bought this, so... At the end of the day, I do a lot of experimentation with different types of gear, and sometimes it just doesn't end up working out, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with the Joby Gorillapod tripod head, ball head, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. With the exception that, you know, this is very proprietary. So originally when I bought this and I received it, I bought it for the Manfrotto tripod head. I received this, I tried it on here, it worked. Then I got to thinking, will it work on here? Guess what, it did. So that's why I'm doing this video. Getting this installed, starting with the ball clamp, I just, ball clamp, oh God, that sounds painful. Not what I meant. Starting off with the clamp, there were different clamps that I saw online, ranging anywhere from $30 all the way up to $170. And yeah, I mean, the $170 one looked cool, but it's not all about coolness. It's also about functionality. And you know what? It's functional. It's exactly what I need. Another feature about this is that it is quick release. So this plate right here will slide directly in, couple of turns, and it's not going anywhere. Where you going? Nowhere. Okay, so there is that. There is a circular level on here, which is awesome. This is gonna be super useful, especially when you're trying to line up your shot and make sure that it's leveled because nothing screams amateur like having tilted video where the entire horizon is just like, 
Now, there are certain cases where that might be okay if you're trying to pretend that somebody's walking up a hill, but for most people's uses, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's straight. And that's where that's gonna come in handy. On the bottom, it connects to a standard one and a quarter inch screw. It's the same size that's on here. It's the same size that's on my light stand and it's the same size that's on this Manfrotto plate right here. If for whatever reason it wasn't, there is a screw right in the middle here, which will come out. This screw is basically just an adapter. It's shrinking down the size of the hole. First thing that I am gonna start off with is going to be with the Gorillapod, just because I do have it handy. Another thing that you are gonna need for this is going to be a coin. So I have this nickel from 1991. All I'm gonna do is take this clamp right here, screw it into the bottom. And tighten it, that's it. It'll take like five seconds to screw on. And then once that's done, Slide it on here and boom, conversion's done. That was really quick, that was really easy. Now when you're connecting to the Manfrotto plate versus connecting to here, connecting to here, there isn't really too much to pay attention to. Connecting to here on the other hand, there is because on the Manfrotto plate, it does have an arrow saying which way the lens is supposed to go. I haven't played around too much with that because I have a Canon M50 and the tripod is a little bit of overkill for the Canon M50. However, when this thing does connect to the tripod, it is going to be very important to note that this screw wheel right here needs to be placed a certain way so that way it doesn't interfere with the other operation in the entire setup of the Manfrotto tripod head. And the way that you wanna do it is you want to make sure that it's hanging off the end right here. So if the lens is on this end, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the wheel is right here. This is very important. Otherwise, because I've already actually done it, it's going to get caught up on the side of the tripod. So on this part, for example, with the plate, if I connect it, okay, if I have the plate in here and I have this facing the side here, it's gonna drag on this gray part and it's just gonna be easier if this wheel right here is hanging off over here. Again, take the coin, tighten it up, and boom, it's together. Now when you put this on here, and tighten it up, it's on there, and this is not interfering whatsoever. Okay, cool, so that covers setting these up. Now there's the plates. One of the features that I love about these plates is the D-ring that's on the bottom, but you do have the optional spot where you can use a coin to be able to tighten it. So if you don't have a coin, that's fine. You have a D-ring, so that'll work too. Who carries cash anymore anyways? And literally you just tighten it and loosen it and it'll screw directly in the camera. If you need to remove it, it doesn't take as long to remove as it does say with something else. One of the things that I did notice about the Canon M50 is that I do need to remove the screw from the center hole and put it in one of the side holes here because otherwise it will cover the battery door. If it does that, then it's kind of a pain in the butt to try and remove it because then I have to unscrew the entire thing. There is a cage on Amazon that will fit the Canon M50, which does have an Arca Swiss quick release attachment already on it. So that might be something worth looking into and it is something that I'll probably get in the future and that I will review for you. This was like $13, I think, for the both of them. So yeah, 13 versus I think it's 60, $70, give or take. I am going to switch to my phone for recording so that way I can show you what it looks like with the Canon M50 on there. I'm gonna show you how quick it is to switch between this tripod and this tripod versus switching between this tripod and the light stand.
So it's not an overly complicated process to do that upgrade and the amount of time that you're going to save is definitely worth the extra investment. Are you currently using Arca Swiss? Is this something that you've thought about before or is this something that you even knew existed? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash that like button if you got value out of this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm coming out with videos all the time and until next time, I'll catch you later.